Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and today I'm going to be making something odd. So this isn't really a product review. Uh, this is the cheese, cheese and bacon sauce for pasta bake by Sainsbury's. I'm going to be using this, and I'm going to be using leftover pasta A, which is... Find out what type, shall we? Rigaton? Oh, oh, never even knew that was a word. See, I buy things very little. It's cheap pasta to me. Falafel or bow tie pasta for normal people. And this one, which is concini, which is just basically pretty Italian for shell, right? Although it doesn't look like a conch at all. It's not round like a horn, but there we go. Shell pasta. I'm going to be cooking it with this. Now, I'm not following the instructions on the back of the packet for this. I do not like half-cooked pasta. So let's get over and boil these three. Now, in the instructions, you're supposed to put all of this pasta into the dish, pour the pasta bake over it, pour a load of water over it, which is like um, the size of the pasta bake uh, jar, and then you're just supposed to use that. Whereas I'm just going to use all this leftover pasta. Yeah, that may be too much, but who cares? Yeah. yeah expands by a third. That's not going to be big enough. Yeah. Let's pause this a sec. Ta da! Now we've got something big enough. Whoops. No, I did all that fancy camera work and then bumped into the camera with my elbow. If this wasn't a blog, I would have filmed that again. Right, I'm going to go put some water in this. Don't need to show anyone how to cook pasta. You put it in water and you boil it. I mean, beyond that, what is there? Okay, and uh, when we come back, I'll show you what I'm going to do to the rest of the sauce. So, the pasta's ready. Complete mishmash of different pasta. It all cooks at a slightly different rate, but I'm not overcooking it and I'm not undercooking it, and the oven's gonna temper it anyway. That's what you call when you put pasta in an oven, it's tempering. It's not. It's gonna continue to cook it, but not in the same way as it does when it's in water. Here we are. As you can see, I've chopped up some chorizo and I have grated the rest of that red Leicester. That is quite a bit of Red Leicester, and hopefully that's going to make it taste nice and yummy. Oops. I need that. Leave the pasta to drain there for a couple of minutes. It doesn't really need to be wet, but I don't really want it to be too hot either. Now here comes the fun part. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Popping the pasta in the cold dish will help it cool down faster than it being in this metal over this hot water. I don't really need it to cool down, but it is going to cool down pretty quick. Oh, it's the end of the cheese packet. Oh. This was the chorizo, by the way. Really nice one. Right. So now what's important is I need a wooden spoon for stirring. And let's get all of this coated in the ingredients. Now, obviously this isn't gonna be liquid enough to cover all of this. And there's still a lot of flavor left in there. Too much milk. I don't want to make this too watery. Just enough. There we go. That's better. That's really getting around some. In those go. 
try and get them separated out and stirred in everywhere. I chopped them quite small. I can already smell them having an effect on the taste. This is already, it's gonna to continue to cook while it's at high temperature because the pasta was boiling. If I was to stick the thermometer in this, it'd probably be sort of like 50, 60 degrees. Certainly would burn me possibly. Probably not now that I put the milk in it, but it may have a good go of burning me. So that's kind of your base. It's not going to be very liquidy, but I'm not cooking the pasta in this. I'm not doing the traditional pasta bake where you're cooking the pasta in. I've already cooked the pasta. It's ready to be served. That's way too much cheese. Put the cheese in the fridge for another day. Want the sort of cheese layer you get to cover a pizza otherwise it's going to end up absolutely swimming in fat there we go that can go in the fridge for another day and this is off into the oven 160 degrees centigrade for about 20 to 40, 30 minutes sometimes 35 just to brown off the cheese we'll see when it's done and here's what it looks like now that it's finished. I'm sorry, I've served it up before. I click click on the record on the video, but it didn't record anything. So I've got to do this bit again. Um, as you can see, the red Leicester comes out really nice and orange and it's just crisped a little bit. And it is hard to tell when the red Leicester is crisp, but you don't want to cook this too long anyways. It's going to end up really dry. As you can see, here's the most important part, what it looks like in the bowl. And it's lots of different bits of messed up pasta. They're all cooked the same. They're all covered in a nice rich sauce. There's little bits of chorizo in here which have released little bits of mmm, mmm flavor. Mmm. And there's the flavor of the bacon and the cheddar cheese and the Leicester, red Leicester. It's not very salty, but there's those little bits of spiciness in there from the chorizo. So it's really quite nice. Mmm. Mmm. And I managed to finish off those three leftovers. But for my taste, I also like to add a bit of spiciness to some of my food. And to this one, I'm adding this. Hot chili sauce. Why did you give me a spoon? Because this one needs a spoon. And the only complaints about giving someone a spoon for this one. Yes, I it does not work with a spoon. Really? Yes. You want a fork instead? Yes. Okay, he's going to take a fork. All right, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.